What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some buy gameplay and today we are going to be talking about the weapon mastery ranked poll that is currently over on the reddit page. So let's head over and let's check it out. So as you can see here, this is a post that happened two days ago as of recording this by Roko Jared, Weapon Mastery and Ranked Poll. So this is what he had to say about it. Hello, Rogue Reddit. In a previous stream, we often spoke about Weapon Mastery and its impact on balance. I've seen many a post, tweet, and comment centered around its removal from the game, but I would like to focus this post to be a discussion around Ranked weapon mastery and where we should go from here in our eyes we see rank to be an experience where the players work around a tight and consistent rule set with known variables for example they understand what they and their enemy have access to and the decision strategies around it Weapon Mastery is a system that currently runs counter to that in that it allows rogues to either push their strengths further and shore up their weaknesses. To that end, we are leaning towards disabling Weapon Mastery in the ranked rule set. However, I'd like to create an open forum here to discuss that here with the players who play ranked and value that experience. If you don't want to voice your opinion but still want to contribute, feel free to pick one of the two choices. I look forward to hearing your thoughts and opinions. So I am going to say, oh, and this is kind of weird, disable it, keep it. So I'm going to vote for disabling it, right? And as you can see here, 151 say disable it, 130 say keep it out of 281 votes as of right now. So I've been playing a lot of ranked lately and the ranked video that I will be releasing will either be out by now or it will be coming up within the next couple of days about my thoughts and opinions on how rank currently is in Rogue Company. But this is the thing. Weapon Mastery is something that I have been pretty adamantly against since they introduced it inside of Rogue Company. And I know that a lot of players or a lot of people that kind of frequent the channel, they already know this. And if you're a new if you're a new viewer, if you're a new person that's kind of coming around and peeping on what this actually is, then yes, I've been very adamant against the idea of, of weapon mastery because it does take away, in my opinion, from the identity of the rogues and the overall experience. Whenever the game first dropped, there was no such thing as weapon mastery. You had two weapons to choose from. You had a pistol, you had a melee, and you had your perk set and your gadgets, and that was it. And you knew whenever you were going up against these teams exactly what they would have access to, exactly what you were going to be going up against. Now, as far as like abilities, perks, and gadgets, that still remains the same. But when it comes to literally everything else, that goes completely out the window in a way to where like you can slot out different things to different rogues and it creates this weird box that the developers have to like balance rogues around right then you can just full stack a team of rogues that have access to smgs everybody can prioritize the d40 and they can completely run all over everybody and everything that currently exists in the game and that is where weapon mastery is a negative that is where like having rogues that have access to specific weapons and specific you know melees and stuff like that is where it takes some of that core identity away from those rogues but not only that but it also creates these metas that really didn't exist before the weapon mastery system existed and my thing is is like weapon mastery is too ingrained into rogue company at this point it's too too much a part of rogue company for them to go completely back on weapon mastery and i'll be the first one to say it i don't mind if they went completely all the way back on weapon mastery if they came out tomorrow and said look we're disabling weapon mastery whatever weapons the rogues have access to are the weapons the rogues have access to i would be perfectly okay with that but i think that there could be a cool way to kind of balance these things out just a little bit i mean whenever you go look at the rogues right now you can go and look at the rogue screen for a specific rogue and prioritize certain weapons so that you don't have to go through the entire list whenever you get into a match it'll automatically have those weapons up on your your buy screen right so my option was like okay well why can't we go in and prioritize these specific weapons to these specific rogues as a loadout and they don't
don't have access to the rest of the weapons in that class. That's the best of both worlds. You unlock the weapons through the natural progression of completing challenges with the weapons. Whenever you do, you unlock it to where it can be used on any rogue that has access to whatever weapon class it is. But you put that hard stop on it to where like, okay, whenever you drop into this game, you're only going to have access to the D40 and the S12, and that's it. And then if you want to use the Knight or if you want to use the Objection or a different submachine gun on that character you have to wait till the game's over go into that character swap that character's like favored weapon around so that you have access to it in the next one that way the weapon mastery system wouldn't be lost completely as far as like unlocking weapons and things to use with other rogues but you would still have to go in there and have hard stops on like okay if i play against this chalk and he's got objection i know that this character is going to have the objection for the rest of the game i know how to counter play that okay what do the other rogues have access to and see that's where a lot of like loopholes and a lot of things drop through the cracks is like okay if i play against you know a specific rogue that's running this and then the next round they're running this and then the next round they're running this and they're dynamically changing up their play style then how are you supposed to realistically be able to counter that as a player and i know a lot of people's like we'll just get better at the game and you'll get better at countering it but that's not the way that it works in single life game modes you have to know going into those engagements and going into those gunfights the rogues they have access to, the gadgets that they have, the abilities that they have, the weapons that they could potentially have. And whenever you throw the core mechanic, the gunplay completely out the window, like it just makes for a terrible experience. Why do you think that like gadget spam and, and utility spam has been a thing ever since it could be a thing? It's because you know that if you can have access to multiple gadgets, you can pre-nade corners, you can, you know, smoke corners, you can do this, that, and the other to try to stop some of that cheesiness from happening. Like the gadget spam really didn't start happening until the weapon mastery started happening. And once the weapon mastery started happening and people are like, well, we don't know if they've got a shotgun or not. We don't know if they've got something that's going to burn us down at like five meters or if they're running something that is going to require a little bit more skill. So we're going to have to do everything in our power to try to get these people off corners. And it makes for a miserable playing experience all the way around, in my opinion. It's not fun to play in a heavily like, you know, gadget or leth you know, lethal gadget, grenade, spammy like play style but it also sucks whenever you have no idea what you're going up against and it continuously changes um i think doing this in ranked first would be the best thing to do in my opinion um because i think it would have people that play ranked a lot and that kind of dedicate a lot of time to ranked uh to get familiar with that like i said i don't think it's ever going to go away in public matches and even if it does go away in public matches there'll be some caveat to where it's like okay you only have access to like x amount of weapons or you have to pre-pick what weapons that you want or whatever it is and then then you'll go into the match like that weapon mastery was a bad idea weapon mastery opened the game up for more possibilities whenever it comes to like customizing the way that you want to play the game but it also created a lot of constraints on rogues themselves whenever it comes to balancing things why do you think replenish got removed off of so many rogues like if you had a rogue that only had access to the objection and then like some other we'll say the objection and the hydra right if you have a rogue that only has access to the objection and to the hydra then replenish makes sense to be on that character at that point because they've got something that fires very slow that hits very very hard and they've got something that fires very very quickly and does a lot of damage but you have to be really really up close to that person so either way you're having to put yourself in these weird situations to be able to capitalize on those weapons makes sense for that rogue to have replenish but whenever you have access to all the smgs and all the assault rifles then maybe they don't need replenish at that point. Maybe they can just pick the SMG that has 50 bullets in it that does more damage at range than the ranged SMG, and they can just dominate the battlefield. That's why there's a lot of, in my opinion, a lot of perks got slotted out, and a lot of these like lesser impactful perks have been slotted into these rogues because like weapon mastery ruined it. So I guess my question to the community is, would you rather have weapon mastery or would you rather have better perks? Because at the end of the day, they're using the perks to offset the balance challenges that they have with the weapon mastery system. So 
that's that's the question that I'm going to pose to everybody watching this. Would you rather have weapon mastery or would you rather have better perks? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, be sure to go over to Reddit and vote on this one. way. I'm not going to sway anybody's vote or anything. I'm just going to say that like weapon mastery is a dud. I think the developers will be able to do a way better job at balancing the game and bringing new and fresh content and ideas into the game if the rogues were hard locked into a certain set of weapons like and i'm not talking about a certain class i'm talking about you have access to the this pistol and this these two primary weapons and that's it i think that when they open weapon mastery up they open the floodgate for metas to become established and then they have to rebalance the rogues because of that so that goes back into would you rather have weapon mastery would you rather have better perks let me know what you think in the comments also be sure to check that description for links to facebook discord and twitter those are places to contact me if you haven't already please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you've already subscribed to the channel then consider hitting that join button to become one of the 256 crew members lastly on thursdays from 8 until 11 p.m central time sundays from 10 a.m until we get tired i will be streaming here on youtube so if you are interested and available please feel free to stop by and say hello there Thanks for watching, guys.